Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Now, y'all already already know. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I'm going to tell you the real. I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm a straight shooter, man. It don't matter who is collateral damage. But I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube this week about um, getting your intangibles and things like that to 99 real quick. And uh, I'm not even going to lie to you. I did it. It actually works. I'm going to show you this right here. But as a byproduct, it, something was striking, right? Like, uh, okay, you get your intangibles, and I don't know if somebody else has already said this or any of that, but when I'm talking about intangibles, I'm talking about the things that you can't, that you can't uh, upgrade through uh, whatever, like Shot IQ. Uh, like, my Shot IQ is a 99. Um, what else, what else are we looking at? Shot IQ 99, you know, driving, docking, layup, and all that good stuff. All this stuff, uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shot IQ, hands are 94. Um... You know, post control, all that stuff is, is, is whack. Anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. What else are we talking about? Um, hustle, 60, whatever. Uh, strength, I don't care about that. Stamina, 71. You know, all that stuff like that in Intangibles, 99. Those things like that, you can get them to 99. But why does it matter? Like, that stuff doesn't even matter unless you just are relentlessly playing my career is what I'm seeing because... For whatever reason, there are two different, there are two different sets of, of, of those attributes. And I'm gonna show y'all right now. So y'all saw what all of those right what are right there. But when you go over here to the park, all the attributes are different. Like you saw um, all the attributes, I mean every one of them is different. And and most notably, check out my hands. My hands was what, 94? Right here, my hands are 80. A lot of people were saying that you know they automatically dial it down like five anyway or something like that. But dude, this is what, 15? My hands are, they, they were eight, they were 94, now they're 15. I mean, now they're uh, 80 on here. And, and it's, I, I, I don't get it. So, like, you can you can use the glitch or you can do, uh, not glitch, you can do the thing where you can, you know, you hold hold both of the uh, triggers and, and keep doing the practice over and over until you get plus one all the way. But if you only play part, it doesn't matter for you. It doesn't. Shot IQ is 80. Over there, my shot IQ was like 99. Like, none of that matters because these are the stats that you are going to take to the part. So, I don't understand um, the whole thing, which brings me to something else, which is uh, I don't understand like like some people play some people play 2K offline, and 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 the real thing is that that was crazy. Is look how much higher everything is over here. So I mean, and it could be because they put the uh, it could be because they. Damn it, man! I can't do this. It could be because they put them whack ass boost on, cause you know they give you the little ten game, little ten game uh boost or whatever. I don't even know how I got nine games left or whatever. I ain't even played no damn games. I took my boost. Somebody owe me my damn boost. But anyway, like I said, man, um, I would say if if you don't play my career that much, hell, if you do make play my career that much, it ain't really that worth it. It's really not worth it. But check this out, right? So my shot. Over here, my mid-range, okay, so that's just the plus five boost, the, the little free-ass boost that they gave because it's 85 over there. I was wondering where that extra stuff was coming from, but this is the one thing that, that's killing me, right? Over Because because everybody will probably be like, well, they're just dialing it down, dialing it down. But check this out. Over here, my stamina is 71, and I know some people that, that and if you have it, you can check it too. I know some people's stamina is probably, uh, probably 99 over here. Right here, my stamina is 71 in, in, in my career, right? Come over here online, like for Pro Am and all of that stuff. My stamina is 85, and you ain't pushing that up none. Like, that's not going to go up. And I'm telling you, I've done all the drills. I've done them ad nauseum, and none of this ever changed. My draw file over there is like 99, and right here, my draw file is what? 42. So, all this brings me to believe why, if we, because. I'm being an advocate of the my career people. Some people don't play online. Some people doesn't don't play anything other than my career. So if the stats can be so drastic, excuse me, if the stats can be so drastically different here, why can 2K not do what we what everybody wants them to do and say, okay, your online player is your online player and your offline player is your offline player. You understand what I'm saying? So why can't I just max everything out? Uh, on my offline because some people might want to grind my career and make their player a true overall 99. Why can't I max 
all of those stats out. And the archetype that I'm really choosing will just be, for those will be upgradable badges. Those will be, you know, all the stuff that you can upgrade and all that. That's fine. But the archetype that you choose will, will determine what you're going to get when you get online. I mean, they're already doing it. Your stats are already different online than they are offline, right? So when you're playing my career, you have different stats. So why can't I have maxed out shooting off the dribble, maxed out dunking on motherfuckers, and maxed out all of that? Is that because... You know, I would be able to get the posterizer badge too easy. Is it, is it for badge reasons or whatever? I, I I wouldn't say that because I know uh sharpshoot, not sharpshoes. I know um you got uh, uh my, my dog Jay Fox. His link will be in the description. He got like corner specialist and limitless range on a damn lockdown defender. So so it ain't because of badge reasons. Like I just don't get that. Like why can't they just ratchet all this up? Offline, I should be able to have a perfect player that that can't be stopped. And, and I can be a super duper duper super duper uber schmooper star on, uh, uh, you know, on my career. And then when I go online with the understanding that the archetype that I've chosen, or hell, you can even choose an online archetype and just do that. Like, like I, I, I don't get it because at first I was thinking because it would be too difficult for them to change the stats and for the stats to be different and all of that good stuff. But the stats are already different. They are already different. In those categories, at least. Shot IQ, it's different. Draw foul is 99 in my career. It's 42 over there. And like I said, you know, hands, my hands over here, 94. They're like 80 over there. And then, um, and, and stamina is, is 71. Like, I, I just, I, I don't understand. Like, they're, they may have had a valid argument before right now or before we noticed this or whatever. And like I said, I'm sure somebody already said put a, put a video out there. But when my stamina is 85, online but it's 71 offline and i'm damn huffing and puffing offline but when i go into program i can run all day and actually play something like like you they have no more excuses i don't get it why can't we just get it like that even if i am a sharpshooter i know that when i go to the park or when i go to pro-air that's gonna be my speciality okay but when i'm offline i should be able to just be a dominant superstar in the league. Cause I wanna do some of them damn dribble moves. I love, I love saucing niggas up too, but I can't do that with this slow, they is slow ass shit. Look at these moves. Look at these. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I want some dribble moves. I wanna do some damn, some damn diesel dunks down low and all of that. Like, like I wanna be able to have, have maximum fun offline, but also and and I can and I, I know they broke the game in 15, okay, where you could where you could max a whole bunch of shit out. I know they broke the game in 16 when that happened. But right here, you can clearly see that there are different stats anyway. So why can't we just have different stats where offline I can have all the fun I want? Because some people play offline and they have no intentions of going online. My dog man that always talking about he good at games, but he really garbage because he always say he the grind guard, but he uh, like my, not, not man, man, grind hard. I'm talking about my dog, uh, the Louisiana kid. But anyway, he always talking about he grinding. That's all he be talking about. I don't play online. I just want to just turn my player loose offline and let him do everything offline. But with the understanding that when I go online, I'm going to be limited. I don't understand why they haven't done it yet. I don't know why they don't do it. I mean, this right here is all the proof that you need. And it ain't that they can go down. They're actually going up in the stats. My online stamina is 85, I got to say, because you know you have somebody in the comments, well, they always doubt it, man. You always get a little bit less stats in the park. Damn it, I don't care about that. My online stamina is 85. My offline stamina is 70 fucking one. That's all I'm saying. So if that can happen, then my damn ball handling and, and movement with the ball, where my damn dribbling at? That ball control, 70. Get out of here. It's really 65 or whatever. And my speed with the ball, that shit can be higher so that I can dominate uh, magnificently in in my career. But anyway, man, like I said, y'all get what I'm trying to say, man. I don't know why 2K don't do this. I don't know why they be lying to us and telling us that this type of stuff, like it ain't in the game. Damn it, it's already in the game. At least do it like this. Let me pick a secondary archetype in my career, right? And then, you know, so I can be a sharpshooter and a playmaker. And then in, in my career, 
those things will those things will happen. And then you know I, I can dribble them like a motherfucker in, in my career, like obviously. And then on uh, on the regular shit, I can't do it when I go to the park. Hell, they already had it where the grand badge wasn't active in the park, right? So we know that if I had that grand badge, it would just be inactive in the park. Like all this stuff that they're telling, like there's no reason that my player needs to be locked the fuck down in my career as well as the park. I already can't do shit in the park. So sometimes I might want to go out there and shit on Damian Lillard. I still can't do nothing. But anyway, man, y'all get what I'm trying to say, man. Um, let me get up out of here. Video already been too damn long. This is just a little rant. But like I said, if we if the stats can be different here, then why can't they be different everywhere? That's all I'm asking, 2K. Why they, why, why they like, why you always lying? Why you always lying? Oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. I mean, I'm just fucking with y'all, man. But anyway, I'm out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's just a question. You know, I ain't trying to start nothing, but I just, I would like to know. Now that I've seen that, there really should be no excuse why my player can't be turned all the way loose in my career, right? And then they got our files online, so you can't really edit them or do any augmentations to them to where people are editing the file and making their players better. So, you know, my online self should be my online presence should be different than my off, my offline presence, and then they can do that and have chicks in the game too. So offline they'll be a dude, and online they could be uh they could be a girl or whatever. But you know I'm just thinking too much. Like I said, I would say it's too difficult for them, but damn it, it's already there. So just let us do it. Just turn that shit loose. But anyway, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello! 360 out this moment.